Hi there. In this video I'll be answering a question about interference. How to calculate the wavelength of a light source, identifying its colour and explaining how the interference pattern is affected when a different grating is used to produce it. Here's a question from the revised higher specimen paper. Monochromatic light from a light emitting diode LED is incident on a grating as shown. The grating has 200 lines per millimetre. We're then asked in A part 1 to calculate the wavelength of the light emitted by the LED. So we'll give ourselves more space to find the answer. The first thing we'll do is calculate distance D between the lines in the grating. This distance should be in metres. So you should calculate the number of lines per metre by multiplying 200 lines per millimetre by 1000, giving us 200,000 lines per metre. Distance D is 1 over this number, which works out as 5 times 10 to the minus 6 metres. To calculate the wavelength, we use the equation m lambda is equal to d sine theta, where m is the order of the maximum we're observing. In this equation, m is 2, because it's a second order maximum. d is the distance between the lines and the grating, that's what we calculated earlier, and theta is the angle between the central maximum, also known as the zero order maximum, and the maximum being observed. Looking at the diagram, we have an angle of 11.8 degrees between the central maximum and the second order maximum. We can arrange our equation like this, then substitute our values like so. This gives us a wavelength of 5.11 times 10 to the negative 7 metres. Part 2 of the question asks us to state the colour of the LED. Here's our answer to part 1 of the question. We'll be comparing this value to the wavelengths listed in the data sheet at the front of the exam paper, so we'll have to convert it to nanometers. This wavelength can also be written as 51.1 times 10 to the negative 8 meters, or 511 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. In other words, 511 nanometers. This is the data sheet then. Scrolling down it, you'll see that there's a list of some of the spectral lines associated with various elements. The closest wavelength to our calculated value is this one. 509 nanometers, which is noted as green. So that's our answer for part two, green. Part B says, the grating is now changed for one which has more lines per millimeter. State the effect this has on the pattern observed on the screen. Justify your answer. So we'll start with the equation we used before, but this time rearrange it so that sine theta is the subject. We now have sine theta is equal to m lambda divided by d. If we're only changing the number of lines per millimetre in the grating, then of course m and wavelength lambda are constant. If we have more lines per millimetre, then the distance d between the lines will decrease, causing sine theta to increase. This would have the effect of also increasing the angle theta between our central maximum and the other maximum. In other words, the maxima are now spaced farther apart. So I've explained how this happens, but it's enough to say that distance d and sine theta are inversely proportional, as you should see from this equation above. Finally, part c says the grating is now used to view the spectrum produced by sunlight. A number of dark lines are observed on the spectrum. Why does the spectrum of sunlight include these dark lines? So of course this part of the question is describing a line absorption spectrum like this. It's important to mention that these dark lines are absorption lines. These are caused by certain elements in the sun's atmosphere absorbing particular frequencies of light. For more information on this, take a look at the video titled Spectra. That's the end of this question though. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.